Hey guys, today I'm on my way to have a look at a little house that I've seen online for the last while. It's on the market at the moment for 220,000 and when I look at it, it kind of has this feel that maybe it's a lot posher inside than it looks on the outside. Now, at 220,000, sure, it's not the cheapest house we've ever been to, but this house is located in Wicklow in a village where houses sell between 299 400,000 all the time. So 220 is quite affordable. And I'm really thinking that the estate agents listing on this and the photos just aren't doing it justice. So I've spoken to the owner and today we get to go have a little look inside. You ready to go? Okay, come on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just in the front hall and one of the things I'm really noticing about this place even initially when I walk in is how massive this front hall is. I'm going to do a little kind of a 360 here so you can get a feel for it. So we have a massive, massive front door behind me here. Really, really bright and sunny hall. We have a door here into a reception room and then a massive staircase up the back. Now, obviously this staircase is a little bit more modern than what would have been in the house originally but you can just imagine that the size of the staircase that used to be in this hall was just absolutely breathtaking and it wouldn't be the biggest job to just replace that with something a little bit more old-fashioned it'll really give that wow factor back to this hall okay i'm going to flip around again and i'm going to give you a good look at this little atrium here okay so when you walk in first this is what you see in front of you you have an old staircase, a really, really wide hall. Now this is quite wide. I don't even think the camera is doing this justice as to how big this is. We have a door here to the left and we have a massive front door here like I was speaking about a minute ago. Now I know the sun is really strong here, far from the worst complaint in the world. When you look at this door, you can tell that the size of a doorway here was for a much bigger house than what we're in at the moment. I'm gonna put up a little infographic now in a second to show you the full width of the original building and how it's been split off into different units. And this side from the doorway over is the bit that's for sale at the moment. That's why this hall is so big because this is a hallway for a much finer house than what we have left here now. Now it's still a very substantial house, don't get me wrong, but. This is a big entranceway for a place that was a very, very fine house in its day. Now the stairway back here, we just come up a little step. And this is what I was saying about the stairway. This is 70s, 80s glamour, <laughs> if you want to call it that. It's a mortal shame that there's not the original staircase in this place, but look, they get to the end of their lifespan it's not the end of the world and like i said they are far from the most expensive thing to replace actually if you look up here and i'm only sneaking up because we're not going upstairs fully you can see the spindles and the details on that top handrail are more than likely the original stairs and it's this part down here that was replaced so even changing the handrail and the spindle so that they match that style up here would look absolutely fabulous and it would just give this place a little bit more wow factor. Look at the size of that hall. Now, before I leave here, I'm gonna just run over and we're gonna talk about the wiring. Now, if you look up here, we have a modern ELCB board here. This one here is more than likely for something like um, either night saver electricity or maybe it's one of the ones that you put the credits on but either way this is very modern and it's very comforting to see it you also have quite modern pendant lights hanging up so it kind of gives you the feeling the services are in order in this house you also have two radiators in the hall if you look back here as well and that means we have heating and i can confirm that it is oil heating which is another bonus yay okay let's go have a look at this room here okay so originally this would have been one of quite a few reception rooms hello <laughs> and basically what we have is we have a door here into another room lovely original door we'll come back to that one in a second we have units here a fireplace 
a window and back to the doorway. I'm really loving the fact that the original doors are still on this place. You have original architrave up here, really high ceilings with nice mouldings going around them. This is really, really grand. This is like what I was saying out in the hall. This was a fine house and I really don't think you get that kind of a feel from the street, but it wouldn't be the biggest job to put that back. I mean, even the size of those windows. I'm gonna switch around in a second and I'm gonna take a video of me standing beside that window so you can see how utterly massive it is because these are a great example of how big a house is on the inside. If you can see how big these windows are on the outside, you can tell that they're usually quite proportionate to the room they're in. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go and turn around. You can have a look. Okay, I'm coming. massive. It is utterly, utterly massive. Hardwood windows, single glazed, could be upgraded, could be put back to sash windows if you wanted it. That is a huge window and do you know what it does? It kind of just gives you the opportunity to just make this place back into the really fine house that it used to be before. It's just so nice to see how big those windows are. Right, we also have a fireplace that we want to look at, so we're going to switch back around again. Okay, let's stand back and have a look at this fireplace now. Oh, couch. Not the original fireplace, I can't imagine by any stretch, but a working fireplace and a big fireplace. And again, another thing that you could bring back to a little bit more in keeping with the age of the house, because it's still open and it's still working. So that's a really, really nice thing. This is a big room, a really, really big room and quite quiet. Even with the single glazing, actually, it's quite quiet in here. We have that door out into the hallway, that bright hallway. And then we have another door back here. Let's go have a look and see what's in here. Look at that door. Look at the glass. Oh, isn't that just fantastic? I love seeing these old doors. Look at this one. Oh, isn't that so nice? I love these. Right. What have we got in here? Come on, let's go. Okay, so this is a very, very modern, in my eyes anyway, fitted kitchen. We have a back door here. Radiator. Perfect. We have very kind of 90s, I suppose, maybe early 2000s style presses. We have a little sink cooker. I mean, kind of everything you would expect in a kitchen and a very functioning kitchen. And one of the things you have to remember about functioning kitchens is that, look, they don't need to be super pretty. They just need to work. Banks love seeing them. They love knowing that you can come into a house and spend a night in it, that you can cook a dinner in it. Um, it just makes them feel like the place is a lot more habitable. So you want this kind of thing in your house. It's so much better than just having a completely blank canvas. Again, the window sizes here are just so big. This one's up really, really high. It looks out on your fantastic back shed. And then you have obviously then glass in the top half of the door, which is going to give another little bit of light. You know, above all, this house is definitely a very, very bright place. And it's kind of nice because sometimes you can kind of look at places like this and think that they're going to be really dingy and pokey and a bit like a very small terrace. And this place is not giving me that vibe at all. I don't need to spend a massive amount of time in here because I want to get upstairs. But there was one other thing I wanted to talk to you about that the owner said to me when we were walking around. And it is back in the big front room here. So come up here for a sec. Okay, so I'm back in the front room and I want to show you something down here at floor level. So if you just come with me for one second, look. So if you look here, you'll see this piece of timber here is known as a saddle. And it's kind of the piece of timber that you put down as a threshold between rooms. Now that's original. And I was talking to the owner about how lovely it was to see the original saddle. And he said that underneath this clicky flooring here, is the original floor. And he even pulled this little bit out the other day to show me. So he said that underneath this whole room of modern flooring is the original floor that used to be in this place. A wooden floor suspended 
more than likely pitch pine, which would be absolutely fantastic. And it just goes to show that seeing these modern touches like this doesn't mean that all the character has been stripped out underneath. There is an old floor down there. It's not the biggest job in the world to take this stuff up. And it will be absolutely fantastic to see this place brought back a little bit with some of these features on show. <laughs> okay, I'm back out in the hall because we are heading upstairs. Come on. Okay, so up we go. The 80s staircase. And we come up here onto the first floor. Now, here is what we have. We turn around, we have that lovely original staircase up here. Look at that handrail. We have bedrooms up there. And back here to the back, we have a little extension, some very cool frosted colored glass and our bathroom. Let's have a look in here. So this is the only bathroom in the place, but it functions nice and bright because we've got lots of windows here. So what have we got? We have wash hand basin, does the job. Very, very cool black bath. <laughs> or is it chocolate brown? Oh, I think it might be chocolate brown. That's hilarious. Another original door with another very handle and a surface latch on it and nice white tiles okay I'm gonna flip around so I can tell you everything you can do with this place that's not gonna freak you out okay I'm teetering on the edge of the chocolate brown colored bath <laughs> this bathroom is so cool there are a couple of things I really like about this place that have a lot of potential and I think they can be kind of overlooked sometimes when you're viewing somewhere so I just want to quickly go through them first off white tile like it is behind me here is a godsend. You come into so many bathrooms and you have like mottly brown colored tiles or maybe you've got like dark green or black or something that's just very, very, I think, statementy. That's not a word, but basically someone who lived here before was going, oh, I really love this loud tile. And then you have to either live with it or pay a fortune to get rid of it. White tile isn't that kind of a tile. You can put anything with it and nowadays, it looks quite cool and especially with subway tiles and all coming back even though these aren't a typical subway tile you could get that vibe off this bathroom really really quickly there is a massive window in front of me three-part window single glaze colored glass on the top textured glass on the bottom and bizarrely enough the middle panel was replaced with a pvc double glazed unit which is hilarious but this has so much character it's so old-fashioned and if you like that sort of thing between the window and that lovely original door, you really, really could keep this bathroom looking really original and really old fashioned. The bathroom suite is gonna put a lot of people off. Bathroom suites are not the most expensive thing in the world to buy. A white one you could get for a couple of hundred euro brand, brand new, shiny new in hardware, or you could go and get a secondhand one for probably about a hundred quid. So never let a bathroom suite turn you off. The bath room works, the toilet works, the sink works, there's mains water in this town. So realistically, all you need to do is come in and pull out the bathroom suite, give the place a good scrub, decide what you want to do with your windows if you want to upgrade them. But to be honest, someone has actually maintained them quite well by putting that little PVC one in the middle. There's even a radiator right here. So you have heating in here. The last thing I want to do before I leave here is have a peek underneath that fantastic lino and let's see what the floor but other than that, don't get scared off by hinky looking bathrooms because they're actually not the hardest thing to fix and they're not the hardest thing to upgrade, especially if you start out with white tile. Okay, let's have a peep. Ooh, peeping under the lino. We have, ugh, just more lino. That's no fun. No fun at all. Okay, so I'm coming back out onto this back landing here. We have that continuation, do you remember, of that lovely window we have in the bathroom, which is really, really nice. We have a little bit of moisture coming in on the wall here. And I would say, don't get massively scared off by this kind of thing. This here is an extension. The original house, you can see this would be where that would have ended here. So just keep in mind that 
there is moisture getting in here somewhere you do need to look at it but i mean this is far from the worst situation i've ever seen in my life a little bit of tlc a little bit of maintenance would go a long long way in this place okay let's go up and find our bedrooms so we have three bedrooms in total and we are very much in the original part of the house now look at my handrail how fantastic is that so we have a nice little landing here we have one bedroom in here we have a bedroom in here and then we have another bedroom peeping in there so let's start with this one here in the back of the house first right radiator brilliant two windows that's not helping <laughs> we have what looks like probably a little hot press here fantastic velvet headboard hope it comes with the house lads i mean this is a fairly basic room it's not i'm going to just come back here so i can get a good view of it there's not really a lot to say about it it doesn't have a massive amount of character but at the same time it's a back bedroom it's out overlooking this backyard if i can get the light right you can have a look out and you know what? Look, it looks dry. It's relatively intact. And for a back bedroom, the fact that it has two windows on two different aspects really kind of helps with the fact that it's overlooking the backyard. Because I think if we only had one of those windows, the place would be a little bit pokey in here and a little bit dark looking. I'm sure we've better bedrooms than this now to find. Come on. There's definitely no shortage of radiators in this house anyway. And the fact that we have oil heating running them is definitely a bit of a comfort. Now, I'm going to go into this bedroom now because I am seeing another one of those huge windows. Now. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. little fireplace. Look at that. Oh, isn't that lovely? So we have a huge window. Up here, we have really, really tall ceilings. And even though we have little markings up here, this is far from bad. You know, this could be a matter of just the place not being insulated, not being vented properly. These are not big issues. The roof seems fairly good on this place, so I wouldn't worry massively about them. Not a huge room, but I have to say that window does an awful job for how bright this place is. I'm actually coming back into the corner so we can see. So this is the door we came in through. This is your little fireplace. And this is your window here. This window is ginormous. This is a beautiful bedroom. And we have a double bed in here. And I have to say the room doesn't really feel that full. I know it's kind of hard to show. So let me just run over here. Let me see. Like the room is far from cramped and that wardrobe as well is quite big. It's quite clunky in our 80s addition to the place. This place could be made look a lot prettier guys with just a bit of better furniture, a bit of white paint, some nicer carpets or maybe getting them floorboards exposed again. It would just be so beautiful. I swear I can't leave any room without having a peep in underneath the flooring, the things I have found in rooms look at that floor ah lads look at that isn't that just fantastic every time you see those carpets you need to do a little bit of a look to see what they're hiding they usually hide the best gems of flooring in ireland so have a peep Imagine this place with all that wooden flooring exposed. Lovely white fireplace, massive window, lovely big iron double bed, massive high ceilings. Man, this place could be so cool. There are some fantastic examples of old brass fixings in this house. Look at that knob. Look at the detail on the side of it. And with a bit of luck, Continued on to this side too. Look at that. It's stuff like this that makes these houses so beautiful. I mean, come on. Fantastic. 
Okay, so we found some great stuff in this room from the really nice flooring to the fireplace, to the lights, the little brass knob, the massive window. I have one bedroom left to show you. Are you ready to have a look? Okay, another radiator. <laughs> This is huge. This is a big room. This is full on 80s, 90s vibe here, I have to say. Definitely getting a great rental vibe out of this place anyway. Right, look past the fantastic cityscape and let's have a look at what we have here. So we have a room that is by far bigger than the one we were just in. Now I am going to assume between this wall here and this wall here, we probably had a fireplace in here at some stage. I'd say judging by that crack in the plaster there, that that's probably where our fireplace was in this room. This was a fine old house, more than likely had fireplaces in every single room. So I would think this would be our best bet if you wanted to open up another fireplace in here. This room again, look, it's a little bit shabby. It has a tiny bit of remedial work needed up there, but not too much. I really wouldn't get too scared off by stuff like that. It has a fine big radiator, more than likely more lovely floors underneath. And again, that massive window. Now this one's a lot easier to see because it doesn't have those net curtains on it. Even probably get out and have a little bit of a look at what we're looking out at. Now this house is overlooking the square in Ockram and this is as central as you are possibly going to get in Ockram. Really really nice place. Like I said before would have been quite a prominent building in its day in the town. And lads it needs to be brought back to life. It needs a little bit of love, a little bit of laughter in these big high ceilinged rooms. Oh, we lost our lovely brass handle off of this one anyway. You might need to put that back now, lads. That's sacrilegious that we have a handle like that in here. And that's it. That's our upstairs. Okay, so that's the inside of the house done. Now, I have a little bit of stuff to show you in the backyard. And it's not just a garden. One of the reasons why I love this place and why it kept coming up in my mind is the fact that we have space out the back that can make you money keep your mortgage payment down and who doesn't love a house like that so ready to go outside right come on <laughs> right so once we go out here we have a large side gate that opens out onto the street and you could easily, easily pull a car in here. You got this lovely cement yard. You have your oil tank in here. And then we have an outbuilding that is exceptionally big. I'm gonna just try and wander around here now and let you have a look at it now. Now this is no shed. So let's go in here and have a look and I'm gonna have a talk to you about what this was for back in the day. Okay, so what you're looking at here, let me see if I can just zoom out a little bit and get a better view of this place. So, we have one room here, good lighting, we have solid cement floors, we have power, and in here we have another room. Let me just let this camera kind of adjust to the light for a minute. So what you're looking at in here is rails up here on the ceiling, another cement floor. And if I step back, you have another door here outside into the yard. And then obviously then this entrance that we just came in through. Now, there's a story to this place, what it's been used for, and I think you are gonna need to know it because it's gonna really get your cogs turning. So let's go back out into the daylight and we'll have a little chat. 
So a house like this in the centre of a village, really prominent building, obviously it's gone through a lot of different iterations in its time. Once in its lifetime it used to be a butcher shop and out here in the back buildings was where they would have had the cold store, meat would have been prepared and all. So that dark room in there that we were just in was used for that in the past. Now the room I'm in right now, a couple of years ago was actually used as a gun shop. And the thing you have to remember about that is maybe in the last 10 years, this room that I'm standing in right now was a commercial premises. There is an entranceway leading right up to the door of the street. It's separate to the house, so you can still use your front door. But this building back here was actually making the owner money up until quite recently. And when you have a building that's in the very, very centre of the village, looking out over a square, every bit of space you have at the back, every building you have that's attached to it, has the potential to make money to pay your mortgage. So. Look at this little room, look at the room beside it and see what could you do with it. You might necessarily want retail in your backyard, but there might be something that you can charge people money to use this for and get your mortgage paid for you. Perfect, really. So what do you think? What do I think? Gosh, I think it has a lot more potential than I thought it had when I drove up. I think the inside of it's a lot grander than I thought it was going to be. I think the hallway, the size of it, the height of the ceilings in the rooms, even the downstairs rooms, the size of those windows, the really substantial fitted kitchen and the functioning bathroom, the functioning heating, all that stuff is the kind of stuff mortgages, mortgage providers even look for. They don't necessarily want to be giving complicated mortgages, they want the straightforward ones. And this place is quite straightforward. It's very dry. It doesn't look like the roof is in terrible condition. It has all its services. It has an entrance off the road. Even if you didn't want to live here and have a family home, all the other parts of the building beside you that were once part of this massive house are all rented out as commercial space at the moment with little apartments and stuff overhead. So you would even have the option of maybe doing that, making even more money off it. I think for the price it is, for the part of Wicklow it's in, it's fantastic value. And I think it's just one of those places that I keep saying this to you over and over again. If you don't go to look at it in person, you don't see the potential in it because you're not looking at it from the inside out. Anyone can look at it online, anyone can see it from the road and think, oh, it's just a little pokey street terrace, and it totally isn't. It's a massive, fine, grand period property that could be brought back into a really, really stunning townhouse, and you'd have it for a great price. And you'd be like, Jamie, if it wasn't for Mag, I wouldn't have even known that, and you'd be delighted with me, and you have to invite me over for tea, and I'll come over and I'll bring buns. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you don't follow me already, follow me to see the next video. And if you are somebody that has a house that has lots of period charm in it, that has little quirky things that you know we'd love to see, and you'd like a bit of hand maybe just getting the word out there that it's for sale, then get in touch with me below and we will come to a house too.